Ladies and gents, what's going on? It's Arvahe. I'm back with another Fortnite Save the World video covering the 7.30 patch notes, just the important stuff that you need to know about. We got a brand new sword coming into the game, the Spectral Blade, and this sword sort of has a lot of promise, all right? Uh, I'll talk about that later though. X-Ray Llamas, they're gonna be coming into the game. We're gonna be getting five X-Ray Llama tokens. That is amazing, I cannot wait to get my hands on these X-Ray Llamas. And I just wanna point out that um, apparently X-Ray Llamas apply to all V-Buck Llamas. So that's Super People Llamas, Morgansburg Llamas, etc, etc. We are going to be getting the Frost Knight Week 5 Challenge, uh, where we get no map and no minimap. And if we survive for 30 minutes, of course, we get this Spectral Blade. And that challenge will be available on the 30th at 7pm. Now, uh, they remove caches from uh, chests in Frost Knight. I think this is great. This is amazing. You know, some people might complain, but the fact is that people legit went into Frost Knight, got the caches, and then just left the game. And they did that on public lobbies. So if you're complaining about this, listen, just blame the people that did it on public lobbies, honestly. Okay, so yeah, uh, they talked about X-Ray Llamas. You can only purchase one X-Ray Llama at a time. The X-Ray Llama contents will reset when the daily store refreshes. So if you see an X-Ray Llama that you like, it doesn't have what you want it to have. It's okay, just wait 24 hours and the X-Ray Llama is going to be resetted. And then, you know, they added all of these bug fixes here that I'm not really going to be reading. Um, but I thought that was it for the patch, right? And then they hit me up with this right here. Several heroes from past events have been added to the collection book. What? Arcalo Jess? Like the boy Aiden says? I really, ho I really hope Archaeologist is in the collection book. Because if she is, I'm going to be really, really happy. She's one of my uh, favorite heroes when it comes down to aesthetics, when it comes down to how she looks. Super, super cool. Heroes from the event store and quest can be slotted into the collection book as well, but they cannot be recycled. And these heroes are not going to be consuming any inventory space on your account. So even if you uh, needed to, you, you don't really need to slot them in, okay? Because again, they're not occupying any space. They fixed the links Cassandra. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it. I, I thought it was never going to be coming to save the world, honestly. But they did it, guys. They actually did it. We can bulk craft down tiered items. Let me tell you guys why this is a big deal. This is a big deal because I upgraded my gas trap to 130. And every time I wanted to craft 106 gas traps, I had to do it manually, one at a time, instead of just spamming the crafting button. Another reason why now it's a big deal that you can craft multiple traps, ammo, and ingredients such as blast powder and duct tape, it's because now you don't have to be spamming the craft button when it comes down to getting a lot of light ammo or a lot of traps or a lot of ingredients. On top of all that, look what it says right here. These are crafted all at once, taking a single craft time to produce. So that means that you can craft 20 gas traps within like a second. So that means... Yeah, that's a lot of math. I'm not going to make all that math. But you can have 100 gas traps in about 5 or 6 seconds, something like that. So that's really, really amazing. They added grenade launchers and rocket launchers into the weapon transform key. And uh, that includes the hydraulic and scavenger launchers as well. But we're going to be getting another launcher as well. It's going to be called the Jabberwocky launcher, which sounds very amazing. It fires a cannonball that explodes into three other mini cannonballs. So maybe this is going to be like a budget bowler or maybe even better than the bowler launcher. And make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because I am going to be reviewing these weapons when they come out, obviously. The Spectral Blade Sword will be available in the Frost Knight Weekly Challenge Reward. I already talked about that. However, let's talk about what it does. Uh, deals high sustained damage with moderate impact. And the Spectral Slash Special Attack it basically lets you warp to a targeted enemy, performing a Spectral Cleave, dealing high, heavy area damage, which may stagger smaller enemies. According to my comment section on how positively my Guardian's Will sword review was received, apparently a lot of Save the World YouTubers don't know how to review swords or melee weapons in general. I mean, that's what my comment section on my video on the Guardian's Will led me to believe. So, of course, feel free to let your subscribe to the channel for a quality review on the Spectral Blade Sword that not only takes the individual performance into consideration, but also all of the other aspects that we have in Fortnite Save the World. Apparently, it also, it's also going to have like a leap attack that lets you uh, interrupt Husk's basic attacks. 
So that's pretty cool. And that is pretty much it when it comes down to every important information that you need to know. So they also said that now when a storm chest is discovered, every single player is going to have a notification. That is very, very good. From my experience, uh, I have only ever missed a storm chest because I either don't see the message when it's called out in the chat or I basically just pass on it and only about two to three times out of my 118 levels that I haven't saved the world someone or some people have started the storm chest without me and one of those three times that they started the storm chest without me they gave me like a thousand obsidian and 300 malachite for it so hey I'm not complaining but yeah guys that's pretty much it I could go about all of these other things but chances are that you don't really care about it because it's not that much of a big deal so I'm gonna end the video right here six minute video not bad i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one